Hey everybody, I built this electric chair for Halloween and I thought I'd show you how to build your own. It's pretty simple, just wood and the only things that are going to be a little difficult would be the electrical box there, right in front there, that, that might be a little hard to find, and the insulators. But everything else is pretty basic, just wood. Okay. You start with the seat, which is 26 by 19, and you cut three pieces, three 2 by 4s at 23, and then two at 19, and put that together. And then this front piece here is 29 and a half inches. It's a 2 by 4 and then the back piece is 51 inches. So you cut two of those and then two of the front pieces and then you put that together. Now what I did here was instead of putting this piece at the end, I put it in a couple inches so it would be lined up with that back piece. which meant I had to, when I put the piece of plywood in here, I had to cut a hole in the plywood and put the plywood seat on before I put the arms on. So I put all that together, the back pieces and the front pieces, and put the plywood seat on. And then I put the arms on, those are 19 inches also. And then I put the legs on, these are five inches wide and I tapered them so to give it a little curve on it and those are 15 and a half inches so the seat is when it's all put together this part of the seat here is 19 inches high so you got 15 and a half plus the three and a half from the two by four here's how I connected the legs you can see the, how the taper looks and I connected it to the, to the back piece, the 51 inch piece. And then the arms, I rounded them here, make them look a little nicer. Okay, on the back part here, I used four inch wide boards to give it a little bulk and plus it matches those boards there, those four inch wides. And these are I think 17 and a half inches here. And the ones back here, I've got two boards. These are 26. Now I didn't have any clamps for for this to put it on the back, so I had a 17 and a half inch board and then the, the 26 inch board, and then I made some little short pieces here, so there's a little opening right there. And then when I tighten this up, it holds this pipe in place. So then if I want to take this pipe out to move it, move the chair, then I just loosen up the screws a little bit and this pipe will slide out. And then I used, these are um, insulators from electrical wires, from uh, electrical poles, and I just put those on. This one's already been damaged. We were moving it and when we moved it, we tilted it back and we put the, the weight, someone tried to lift it back here instead of putting their, their hands here and it, it, it bent it forward so I had to put a different bolt in there. But this side you can see I just used a regular bolt in there, I don't know if you can see that. But you can probably find these. I found these um, at an electrical substation. They had a big pile of these. And the guy was out there one day, and I used to drive past her every day. And I, one day he was out there, and I asked him if I could have some, and he gave these to me. So, and then I've got the little helmet, which is just an old light, an old work light that somebody was going to throw away. 
and then this, you can adjust this to different heights. So, that's it. I never got around to making straps for here, but that's really the only thing that's missing is the straps. Now this part here, that's the one you, you might have trouble finding. I just happened to find that in an old warehouse quite a few years ago. I don't know. But you might be able to find something like that at a, a second uses store or something. But, so there it is. It looks pretty cool. It's good for haunted houses or if you just want to have it in your apartment. Kind of interesting to have. So, that's it. Let's see if I can get a... Oh, it kind of looks good in the apartment. But that's it. Okay. I hope you like that. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.